if you remember this answer in the future, you'll always be able to catch yourself when you're giving a socialized false response based on what you have learned to be the right thing. It's not about anything being the right thing, it's about you sensing yourself, self-realization. That leads to the realization of the other. In the recent time, I realized that often my actions come from a posture where I'm focused on me and not on the other. When that was brought to my attention, I think each time I realized, yes, of course, I immediately grasped it. But just a couple of days ago, I felt that there is a resistance within. And I reflected a bit and suddenly I had the question, could it be that my initial saying, yes, I want to change that, actually came more from my societal upbringing, that I was taught it's not good to be selfish. So if anyone ever points that out, my immediate reaction would be, yes, yes, I'm going to change that. I also realized I don't really understand why I need to change that. Could you give guidance? Because now I'm a bit confused. It's very interesting what you have realized that it could be from this moral upbringing of, you know, being charitable and being kind to others and so on, but without any real basis for why that should be the case. It's always and always something which is a result of a self-realization process. And when there is no self-realization process, which is the case in most cases with religion, because you, you follow a given set of rules, what happens then is that the experience of tuning into the other or, or bothering about the other or caring about the other is not there. It's simply a response. It's a socialized response. It's a moralistic, guilt-ridden response behavior, rather than that it's born out of the experience of tuning in. The more you tune in to yourself, the more you actually go in, go in, go in, the more you feel that oneness with the other. And the more you feel that oneness with the other, the more you're also sensitive about the other. So it's not caring about the other, but much more sensing the other. That is what the whole thing is about. And when you sense the other, your environment becomes less and less troublesome to you. It just does. It becomes less troublesome. You sense, let's say, your boss at work. What's the result going to be? It's going to be less of an atmosphere of strife around you at work. You sense how your children are feeling in a given moment. What that means is that you'll have children that are less troublesome. So when you respond with a moral, religious approach to the whole thing, it has the opposite result. Because the other one feels that there is no real sensing behind your response. Which is why the spiritual journey of going inward, of actually tuning in to the source of your being is very valuable. It allows you to tune into the other and therefore allows you to reduce the suffering in your life and to increase the joy. So it's in your own interest to do that. And not to do that as a socialized response, but to do that as a result of feeling yourself. Only if you feel yourself, if you sense yourself, your, your truth, your center, your essence, only then can you sense the other. You know, you can just try it now, actually. Just take a moment and just try to sort of quiet, quiet, quiet everything down, you know. Everyone in this satsang can do that, actually. Just take a moment, you can close your eyes and just quiet, quiet, all your opinions and ideas and 
desires and wishes and hopes and just just quiet everything down for a moment and just try to feel the core just a solid core you will feel your breathing also suddenly it becomes very real you become aware of it and now in that state of quiet as you sense yourself you'll just open your eyes you'll just be more sensing of everyone around you and it's not a it's not a response which is socialized it's an experience based response to everything around you an action actually towards everything around you not even a response but an action an action of sensing the other that's the difference and now you'll see if you remember this answer in the future you'll always be able to catch yourself when you're giving a socialized false response based on what you have learned to be the right thing it's not about anything being the right thing it's about you sensing yourself self realization that leads to the realization of the other that's why there are some people who can just with their eyes closed know what another person is experiencing and support that person also you know because they because they are tuned into themselves it's very fascinating to observe how that just switches around it just switches within within a very short time and you're not any more than a victim of the socialization process which is pushed through by religion which is pushed through by greedy capital all of those things you become your own master you become the boss you know the true boss of the situation which means you become the big lover you just love everyone because you love yourself and love meaning a tuning in a oneness with an understanding of the self the source the truth the core 